cool. This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're going to be counting down our picks for the top 10 kaiju anime. For this list, we'll be looking at the anime that take hulking massive monsters and put them front and center, preferably with a whole lot of violence thrown in. Which kaiju do you wish you had as a pet? Let us know in the comments, and as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. Number 10, Die Guard. Here's something you don't see every day, a giant robot taking down space squids with all the cheesiness you could expect mixed together with real-world bureaucracy. Hey, fitting those giant drill missiles takes time and money. While the idea of a mecha action fest being grounded in such a way might sound like it loses some of its fun, the rocket punches and abundance of aliens for them to squash ensures that even when having to perform around the clock maintenance, the kaiju kills still hold up. Look at the party! Number 9, SSSS Dinozenon. <laughs> the spiritual successor to another mecha filled show we'll get to later, while this one is still in its infancy, this latest addition to the growing SSSS verse is doing wonders, especially with its fight scenes. With the return of kaiju users, monsters of every shape threaten to wipe out humanity. Their only hope comes in the form of a rebel user named Galma, who unites a ragtag crew to help pilot a brand new mecha capable of tearing up every kaiju that rears its ugly head. We are expecting great things from this show. <laughs> Number 8, Darling in the Franks. Teenage love might be this anime's overarching theme, but it also has mecha and a lot of kaiju-like creatures called klaxosaurs. <laughs> Raised from birth to control the two-man machines known as Franks, there's no shortage of monsters for Hero and his fellow parasites to contend with, what with the Earth spitting out Klaxosaurs like it's going out of fashion. The variety among these blue-blooded beasts is all too impressive, and if Vim hadn't showed up to ruin the mood, we'd have nothing but praise for the creativity that went into their designs. Number 7, Godzilla Trilogy. For hardcore fans of The King of Monsters, this might seem like a weird direction to take things, but at the very least, everyone can agree on one thing. Godzilla evolving into a thousand-foot behemoth is awesome. With the Earth now dominated by monsters, the trilogy focuses on surviving members of the human race and their efforts to kill Godzilla, with remastered versions of Mechagodzilla and Ghidorah eventually joining the fray. These three films will definitely keep you company while you're waiting for Godzilla's singular point to finally be released on Netflix. Come on! Number 6, Knights of Cydonia. <laughs> 
don't be thrown off by the use of CGI. Any sci-fi that has the balls to have a giant placenta alien tear up Earth is worthy of recognition. Fighting a hopeless battle against the repugnant aliens known as the Gauna, the spaceship Cydonia stands as the last bastion of humanity, with their only defense being the mechanized suits known as guards and their Gauna skewering harpoons. While most of the unease that unfolds comes from within the Cydonia itself, the threat of the spacefaring kaiju can still be felt when they aren't ripping up worlds with their tentacles. Number 5. Digimon Adventure Movie Remember the Western release of the Digimon movie, which was an unceremonious mesh of three movies squashed together? While that might have been a mini disaster, the first segment, based on a short movie released by itself over in Japan, actually had a pretty decent monster brawl. Preluding the first Digimon series, we see a much different Greymon take on Parrotmon in a citywide showdown that has them blasting fire and lightning everywhere they go. As an isolated viewing experience, it's actually pretty damn good. <laughs> Number 4. SSSS Gridman A loving homage to the iconic tokusatsu, this is one of the purest examples of kaiju action you're likely to find in the modern anime scene, made all the better thanks to Studio Trigger putting their best foot forward in the animation department. After being bonded to the mecha known as Gridman, an average student is thrust into a battle against an endless spree of kaijus day in and day out, all while trying to navigate high school drama intrigue. Number 3. Gunbuster – Cute Girls and Giant Robots Together at Last while it certainly has less darkness when compared to some of its counterparts, this anime makes up for it with good old 80s charm. As a horde of intergalactic threats draw closer to Earth, a gaggle of adorable yet gifted gals lock and load in a powerful mecha known as the Gunbuster, taking the fight to the space monsters from beyond the stars. This is definitely one of the more underrated titles that doesn't get enough credit for the action or the weight of its bittersweet narrative, and hey, they blow up plenty of kaiju. Number 2. Attack on Titan While the most recent seasons elevated what was originally a blockbuster seinen into an ingenious political thriller, the titular giant monsters are still very much a prominent factor, and when they let loose, it's downright magnificent. The pure titans remain horrifying in their humanoid appearances and appetites, but the true kaiju glory comes when members of the Nine throw down. Seeing Eren and his attack titan trade blows with the armored and warhammer titans still has a sense of scale that few series can measure up to.
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Neon Genesis Evangelion There's a whole lot of Shinji not getting in the robots, Gendo being one creepy SOB, and more Abrahamic symbolism than you can throw a Bible at. But yes, there is indeed plenty of monster mashing to be found in this gloriously contested series. With the arrival of the creatures known as Angels, it falls to a group of traumatized high schoolers to pilot their Ava units and beat them back. <laughs> The battles are retro as hell and make for some great time. Just as long as you're fine with an endless parade of spirit-breaking twists in between them. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.